Good morning, it's the uh, 4th of June, 2020. I'm uh, on a path I cleared out, uh, heading out to Jungle Camp, a place I had before about two years ago, and it uh, just rained and rained, and it just stayed wet all the time, and so I kind of abandoned it. it. Seemed to be kind of back to normal rainfall, so I think. And so I'm uh, trying to put that back together. So we're gonna head out there. Behind me right now, there's a bunch of elderberries. There's gonna be a lot of, probably a lot of background noise. I have a lot of uh, military aircraft that fly over here. It couldn't be anything. And so far this morning, it's been a, uh, a Black Hawk helicopter and a um, couple of Navy propeller driven trainers. So uh, you see here, it's, uh, it's kind of wooded and grassland. It's also considered to be, this area is considered to be a wetland. And uh, I can assure you that, that it, it is that uh, because I had, to, I kind of had to abandon this area. But I'm gonna give it a try again. There's gonna be a bunch of other background noise probably. We got some big clouds building up and I've already heard the rumble of thunder. Uh, we've got that tropical storm heading this way. So I'm gonna have to take down stuff that I started to put up. Um, we got all kinds of creatures. There's a hawk that's around here and the, uh, and the uh, crows aren't happy and they've been making a racket. Yeah, there they go. You're gonna hear them trying to run that hawk out of here. Sometimes they're all day long back here trying to get him to leave. And, uh, oops, I almost fell. Tripped over vines. Anyway, there's foxes, coyotes, deer, armadillos, possums, all kinds of birds, all kinds of stuff back in here. And this is the area that I'm gonna to try to set up um, all back in here. You can see it's nice and flat and grassy and stuff. It looks like a great place to camp. However, the water pools and stands and it can get quite gushy. But I'm back here in the corner. I've set my tent up. And that's kind of what I wanted to show on this video is uh, my tent. And uh, it's a, it's a four person, um, there we go. It's a four person Sierra Designs tent. It's called a Mondo Condo. It's, uh, it's gotta be 20 years old. It has three aluminum poles, two that go through sleeves, and one that just, as you can see, goes over the top in the clip. So it sets up really quick. The poles go to the same, there's two grommets right next to each other on each side. So you can go slide, slide the tent poles through and uh, it's, the sleeve is solid. So they go right through and two of them can go on that side. You walk around, put the other two in the grommets there. I take the last pole, lay it across the top and start clipping it and then uh, five minutes are set up. It's a four person tent that my wife and I use, uh, primarily uh, car camping, but I've used it on llama treks. I've used it on river trips for the room. And in this part of the world down here, we're in the South where it's really humid and stuff. You really need a large tent. So you have clearance above your head for the hot air to rise. So when it's time to go to bed, you're down there on the floor and the hot air is rising and you get some really good ventilation. Those small tents, it's like getting wrapped up in a plastic bag and uh, it's really not very comfortable. Right now it doesn't have the fly on it. Uh, flies laying right there on the ground. And uh, I'll do that, I'll keep the fly handy in case uh, it's gonna get a lot of uh, dew in the morning or it's gonna rain like right now, it's threatening. So uh, I would do that. Another thing I use is uh, come in here inside my tent and what we have is here on the floor it's blue and these things right here this is a moving blanket. I get them at Harbor Freight from anywhere from three to six dollars. They're really cheap. I use them a lot in tent floors because they, they make a nice padded tent floor and the stuff doesn't stick through your, your floor as easily. 
and you get up in the morning, you get out of your sleeping bag, you have a nice uh, padded floor. And uh, if it's cold weather, the floor is not cold. It's really a, a nice thing to have if you're, if you're not having to lug it uh, in a backpack. I have backpacked with this with three people. So one person gets tent poles, one gets the tent body, one gets the fly. And you got three people to share this big space, which is pretty nice, especially if it's raining or, or, or the weather's going bad with the bugs or whatever. Uh, it's big, it's open, uh, gives you plenty of room to do things. Um, other thing is, is, is this light up here. That's a, another uh, thing from the, uh, from the Harbor Freight. And if you get on their mailing list, they send you a catalog and in there they've got coupons and inevitably, the um, the coupon will have one of these for free. And all you have to do is buy something. That's it. Just buy anything. You can buy something for a dollar. And they'll give you this light. It's got this big main light in the front. It's got like a little flashlight there. It's got this hook to hook it up. It's got this metal thing here. That's a magnet to clip it onto something metal, of course. And... Um, it's, it's a great little light and the price is right. Uh, you can get it for basically nothing. And I get them all the time since I'm buying stuff over there. And uh, I always have friends that say, hey, you got one of them flashlights? So this is my uh, idea of a very good one or, or two person, really, uh, hot weather tropics down here tent. This area would get flooded in a rain. It, it, it would have a one to two inches of water on the ground. Being in, the, in a tent on the ground uh, would be, uh, you probably get wet because I don't, I don't think even a good floor sealed will keep, uh, if you're standing in a, a two, if you're sitting in two inches of water, it's not gonna help. But you can see here, um, there's lots of mosquito netting uh, on the tent. And uh, and so it's got a lot of air circulation uh, going through it, things like that. So uh, anyway, um, I hear the crows in the back. So I wanted to start this video this way with the, uh, the tent and uh, some ideas on hot weather camping uh, tropics down here. Uh, back here behind this tent, about seven miles, is the Gulf of Mexico. So we're... Uh, we're there, I see, and you can see here in the background, there's big clouds building up. And uh, that's what we uh, have when we get a storm. So I'll be hopefully doing some more um, tents and more ways in, of setting stuff up for this kind of environment and uh, give you some ideas about camping down here in the south. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.